What is going on world? What's up everyone? It's Zero here. Today I'm bringing you guys a brand new StarCraft 2 video. This one is between two players on the WCS Pro Circuit. Spawning here in the top right hand corner of Lost and Found LE. Playing with the blue Protoss pieces. He's currently down in this series but certainly not out. He wants to even up the score. His name is Shadow. And his opponent spawning in the bottom left hand corner of this map playing with the red zerg pieces she's currently up in this series and uh wants to keep this series moving in her favor her name is scarlet so guys you guys can check out all of these games in this series on the youtube channel right now and i gotta say uh there's been so much cheese in this series so far are we gonna get a standard game uh, here at some point or another because there's once again another probe coming across the map very very early uh, And another one is joining that probe and I think once again uh, Once again Shadow is going to cheese his opponent now the question is 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 this gonna work? This probe is starting to move uh, towards the third uh, base location of our Zerg player. Does look like there's going to be a forge as well as a gateway. Like I was telling you guys earlier, you know, Shadow really tends to go for these uh, these builds um, that are hyper aggressive. He's a hyper aggressive Protoss player. A lot of times it works, uh, but sometimes it doesn't, guys. Um, it reminds me actually of uh, of Bly. Who is a very hyper aggressive Zerg player? Um, going, you know, goes for a lot of cheese, but can also play the standard macro focus game. But a lot of times, just likes to play uh, the, uh, you know, the the hyper aggressive kind of style, and that's always a lot of fun. Third base is now going down here for Scarlet, so Scarlet is not very, uh, uh, not really phased much by this aggression. Once again, the cancel has come in here. Uh, we're going to get a robotics facility. A couple of photon cannons are going up here. Um, we, you know, obviously we're getting the Zergling speed upgrade right now. Scarlet, once again, is probably, okay, it looks like a spine crawler. Two spine crawlers are going to be coming up here. She does know that there is going to be aggression coming on her side of the map. So, look, guys, Protoss, uh, you know... A lot of people, you know, talk smack about, about you know, the hyper-aggressive kind of build by, you know, Zerg, you know, Terran, or Protoss. doesn't matter um, which race it is. But look, guys, if you're a really great player as far as, you know, with, with a specific, whatever specific race it is, um, your defense is something, this really is actually helpful as far as getting your defense better and better in StarCraft 2. Having to go up against hyper-aggressive builds and trying to consistently evolve definitely helps you as, um, as a StarCraft player. So interestingly enough, she's bringing all of these spine crawlers down to, uh, down to the lower level here. And it looks like they're going to have free range of this area here. Um, these three uh, spy crawlers, and now she's starting to move in with some of these zerglings as well. I love this positioning. The defense is absolutely on point right now. There's one immortal that is out right now. Another one's going to be coming up here very, very shortly. But with the defuses on these queens, I think she's going to be able to hold on at least at this point. You got to be very careful. The surround is coming up here, but I think there might just be a little bit too much zerg here. Uh, to absolutely get that surround on the immortal shadow does not want to lose this immortal this is going to be absolutely crucial for his success here i think that Sh uh scarlet has done an incredible job with the with the defense so far going after of course all of these shield batteries i really containing the opponent here there is going to be a war prism is going to be coming out very very soon but the diffuses are coming up here for these for the Zerg player with these queens. And I think there's gonna be enough here to hold on. And it looks like, okay, the queens are starting to push in. They wanna go ahead and get this pylon. If they take out the pylon, that's going to absolutely take out the entirety of what's being powered right now. And just like that, everything goes down. The War Prism cannot go up right now. And this defense has been absolutely on point. There is a pylon did go up here. For the Protoss player, the longer this goes, though, I don't think that Shadow is going to be able to hold on here. There is a possibility, but 
moving forward is more and more of these spine crawlers. The push has been good though by Shadow. Shadow is still, still does have minerals. War Prism is now out. I think that Shadow is gonna be able to kind of clear out a lot of these units here. Scarlet's going directly after that pylon, but just like that, um, she's having to make so many units. I mean, that's the problem here. There's just so many units that are having to be made here um, for Scarlet. Now the question is, is who's really ahead? I mean, that was an insane push um, there by Scarlet trying to clear out all this stuff, but Shadow really holding his ground here uh, with these Immortals. Now there are Zerglings on the opposite side of the map here. There's a Photon Cannon that's going to be going down here very, very shortly. Uh, but Scarlet is starting to threaten here um, with uh, these Zerglings. Not much happening though, and now you got, of course, these three Immortals are coming into the main base location here. These Immortals are going to be able to do so much damage. You have to be very careful here, especially with the uh, especially with the War Prism. You do not want this War Prism to go down here. These Immortals are getting so much value right now. Oh my god. Three Immortals. This is such dirty play here by our uh, Protoss player. GG is called in Shadow has cheesed his opponent in every single game, and it has worked out twice so far in this series. I hope you guys did enjoy this game between Shadow and Scarlet, and if you guys did, leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, stay positive, and as always, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.